have now potential energy. So we talk now on the other energy. As I said kanina, there are two energies. First, the kinetic. And the other one is the potential. Potential is the energy at rest. So, as I mentioned earlier, potential energy is defined as energy at rest. Example of um, potential energy is the gravitational potential energy. So, to compute for the um, gravitational potential energy, that would be U sub G is equal to MGH, where M is the mass, has a unit of kilogram. G is for acceleration due to gravity, which is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared, or 9.81, or H will be our height, which is a unit of meters. So, another type of potential energy is the elastic potential energy. Example of um, elastic materials are spring, rubber bands, and more. So, in order to solve for the elastic potential energy, we will use the formula 1 half kx squared. For k is the spring constant, which has a unit of newton per meter. x is the displacement, which has a unit of m. And u sub is the elastic potential energy, which has a unit of joules in citizen. So we have our problem here. In the figure, a single frictionless roller coaster car of a mass of meter, which is a mass of m, is equal to 8.25 kilogram tops the first hill with a speed of v sub 0, 70.0 meter per second at height 42 meters. How much work does the gravitational force do on the car from the point A? Point B, point C, or letter D, if the mass M were doubled, would the change in gravitational potential energy of the system between points A and B increases, decreases, or remain the same? How uh, will we solve for those? So, we will now solve for problem number seven by first listing our events. So, we have our mass there. The mass of our roller coaster car is 825 kilograms. Our V sub 0 is 17.0 meter per second. Our height will be um, 42 meters. Solution for letter A. Point A. Our work is equal to MGH cos theta. That's our formula for point A substitution. It will be 8 825 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meter per second squared multiplied by cos multiplied by 40.0 meter because that's the height. Then cos 90 degrees cos it's perpendicular as you can see on the um, diagram we have. So point A has zero joules. Let at point B we have our formula mg. Our height there is divided by two as you can see it's already given in the figure. So again substitution meter per second squared 42 over 2 that will be 21 meters so our work at point B is equal to 1.70 times 10 raised to 5 joules letter C Point D, our I mean at point C, our formula would be M G H. That will be 8.25 kilograms 
multiplied by 9.8 meter per second squared, our height would be 42.0 meters. So our work at point C is equal to 3.40 times 10 raised to 5 joules. That would be our answers. So at letter D, they are asking if the mass were double due to the change in gravitation potential energy of the system between points A and B in cases the cases are remain. So look at our um, solutions as you can see the mass is proportional to the answers with our um gravitational potential energy. So, which means if the mass were doubled, our answers will also be doubled because they are proportional, proportional to each other. This, our, this is our references. Thank you for listening. See you in the next lesson.